MS20 video number three. Sample and hold. We won't use a sequencer on this one. So we've got a simple... So we've got the two oscillators on. On there. On there. So we've got a square and a triangle. So filter is uh, high pass not being used. And uh, so what we want to do is randomly change the uh, low pass filter. And uh, you do that using the sample and hold circuit. And sample and hold uh, will listen to an input signal. And whenever you send a trigger to it, it'll basically hold that signal and then send it through the output. Um, so where we want to send it is let's send it to total to start off with. That's where we want to go. Uh, and what do we want to trigger it with? Well, let's use the effectively the LFO, the modulation generator. And uh, we need a probably a square wave trigger. And we'll feed that into the clock. And where are we going to get a random signal from? Well, random signals are created by noise. So using a very colorful cable, is that long enough? Uh, yeah, it is long enough. I'll take the white noise and feed it into... I'll take the pink noise because I've got a pink cable. And I'm going to feed that into the, uh, uh, the sample and hold circuit. So now when I do that, nothing happens because I'm not routing it anywhere. I'm going into total, which means I can use any of these um, uh, uh, modulation sources and uh, increase this, and I'll off, you'll find it will send a random signal based on this clock to uh, to the uh, to the. Uh, <sighs> it'll send a random signal to the low pass filter. Here we go. A bit fast. That's quite cool. No, so the trick with this is if you have the modulation generator in the middle, it's nasty. So you need to have it in the far right so you get a little little ping. Um, so that's a, a little trigger rather than a big trigger. <laughs> right. Now we can bring up the low pass filter. Sorry, the high pass filter. Oh, before we go, uh, you can also then route that to anything you like. Pitch. Not sure that sounds particularly nice, but... Or instead of actually sending it uh, to total, uh, you could also route it directly to one of these using this. So I could take the low-pass filter and put it in there. And so that will now... Oh, that's interesting. Why is that not random? Oh, that's sorry. That's the right one. So when you route things into these inputs, this is uh, turned on using the lower button, and the upper one is taking the input directly from the mod modulation generator. <laughs> So, lots of nastiness there. I'll turn that off. Lovely.